This is a 2 by 3 game matrix and we have to split this into 3 small sub games. First, we hide the third column and this is our sub game number 1. After hiding the third column, the part of given game matrix we can see is our sub game number 1. Four, eight, and five is our sub game number one. Between R two and R one, eight is greater than two, and five is greater than four. So second row is dominating the first row and the first row is cancelled. Between C2 and C1, 5 is less than 8. So column C2 is dominating C1 and uh, C1 is cancelled. So the only payoff value we have is our game value for first sub game 5 now we had the second column and we have our sub game number 2 this is c1 c3 r1 and r2 This is sub game number 2. And now, before solution, let's prepare the third sub game also. Hiding the first column, this is our sub game number 3. C2 and C3. C1 is hide it. Sub game number 3. Now you can see the second subgame cannot be solved straight by dominance. So we use arithmetic here. Difference between 2 and 11, 9, 8 and 2, 6, 2 and 8, 6 again, 11 and 2, 9. So our game value for second sub game is 11 into 6 plus 2 into 9 divided by sum of these two equals 84 by 15 and 5.6 for the last sub game again the arithmetic procedure these two difference is 7 5 and 2 difference is 3 these two 1 and these two 9. Eleven into three plus two into seven divided by three plus seven. 33 plus 14, 47, divided by 10 equals 
4.7 so we have three game values of three sub games and only one of them is our prime game value and this is the rule for selection for a 2 by n game matrix we have to select the lowest game value among all three different game values and then we will determine optimal strategy according to the respective sub game the sub game of lowest game value so the main game value is 4.7 and to calculate the optimal strategies, we will follow the same sub game. This one. So we are calculating probabilities for the third sub game. And now we just ignore the first and second sub game. The same value 3 divided by sum of these two. Same value 7 divided by 10. Here the same value 9 by 10 and 1 by 10. So for this 2 by 3 game matrix, 4.7 is the game value. Now optimal strategies. For player A, first row R1, 3 by 10 probability. And for the second row, 7 by 10. Player B. In this subgame, C1 is cancelled. This column is cancelled. So, zero probability for a cancelled column. For C2, probability is 9 by 10. And for C3, probability is 1 by 10. 4.7. Our game value and optimal strategy. Another question, the next one. And this time we have a m by 2 game. That means only two columns and more than two rows. This is a 3 by 2 matrix and we have to split this into three small sub games. And this time we'll be hiding each row one by one. So first hiding the third row. And this is subgame number one. Hiding the second row. This is number two. And the first row. Subgame number 3. In this subgame, between C2 and C1, 1 is less than 8 and 3 is less than 5. So column C2 dominates C1 because of smaller members. And C1 is cancelled. This is C2. R1, R2, 1 and 3. Between R1 and R2, 3 is greater than 1. So R1 is cancelled because R2 dominates R1. So the only value, only payoff value we have is our game value for first sub game and it's 3. 
फॉर सेकेंड सब गेम एरिथमेटिक मेथड बिटवीन एट एंड वन डिफरेंस इज सेवन माइनस थ्री एंड सेवन टेन एट एंड माइनस थ्री इलेवन वन एंड सेवन सिक्स गेम वैल्यू फॉर सेकेंड सब गेम वन इंटू टेन प्लस सेवन इंटू सेवन डिवाइड बाय टेन प्लस सेवन फिफ्टी नाइन बाय सेवेंटीन थ्री पॉइंट फोर सेवन फॉर थर्ड सब गेम अगेन एरिथमेटिक प्रोसीजर वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग ऑर्डमेंट्स फाइव एंड थ्री डिफरेंस इज टू माइनस थ्री एंड सेवन टेन फाइव एंड माइनस थ्री एट थ्री एंड सेवन फोर थ्री इंटू टेन प्लस सेवन इंटू टू डिवाइड बाय टेन प्लस टू थर्टी प्लस फोर्टीन फोर्टी फोर बाय ट्वेल्व इक्वल्स थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन three game values and this is the rule this is the second rule for sub games and it is for a m by 2 game matrix we have to select the highest game value among all three different game values and then we will determine optimal strategy according to the respective sub game the sub game of highest game value so among these three values 3.67 is the biggest our prime game value so our game value for this game is 3.67 and optimal strategies optimal strategy should be determined by this sub game also which having prime game value so we are calculating probabilities for sub game number 3 Ten divided by sum of these two, twelve. Five by six. Two by twelve equals one by six. Here the same argument four. By four plus eight equals one by three. Eight by four plus eight equals two by three. So first for player A in this sub game, R one is. Cancelled. 
this row R1 is cancelled in this subgame. So zero probability for a cancelled row. R2 5 by 6. R3 it's 1 by 6. And for player B, first column C1 probability is 1 by 3. And for the second column, 2 by 3. This is our game value and these are optimal strategies.